Hello everyone, right, we've got something especially for you Americans. It's the American Air Museum. Yeah, wicked. You excited? Yes. Let's go, let's go. There's a cafe in here, that's where we're starting. I can tell you that right, right away. Wow. Wow. Oh my wow. 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 So that's his first American plane for you. It's pretty cool. Now that was designed to shoot down Soviet tanks. Not shoot down, you know what I mean, shoot Soviet tanks. It was a low flying one, it's called a Warthog. Thunderbolt 2 Warthog. It was during the Cold War. That's how they were going to get rid of the Soviet tanks, but it never happened. Never happened. So that one over there, Mazzy, yeah. that's a Lockheed U-2C, SA-2 missile. Yeah. I know that. I know that. Um, it's a high-altitude plane over there, which the Americans invented. They made that in the 1950s. And the Soviet Union came out with this missile to try and shoot them down. Oh, that's cool. It is cool. It's cool that I know that. Um, I'm not sure how Americans would feel about it, though, having a missile pointing towards their American plane in the American Air Museum. It's been decided that this is probably my favourite plane so far. There's some kid shouting Daniel up there, but I'm sure he doesn't mean me. This is my favourite plane so far, but we don't know what it is yet. There'll be some people screaming, trying to tell us what this is. We'll find out in a minute. What did you say it is? It's a blackbird. A blackbird. Yeah. It's a blackbird. Should have known that. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was not expecting to see that in here. A piece of the World Trade Centre from 9-11. I can't believe I've actually got that close to... <clears throat> Got that close to something like that, it's something I'd never thought I'd come across. That's pretty morbid, really. I didn't know any of them existed, but it's a death mask of Stalin. Stalin himself, Joseph Stalin. He was the Soviet Union leader. Okay, back in the Second World War. Really? Yeah, really. What do you think this is? What is it? It's a bit of the Berlin Wall. It's a bit of the Berlin Wall. I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> the Berlin Wall. I've seen a bit of it before. Much bigger bit than that. In a Berlin museum. Little story about that. It was my birthday and I was in Berlin. It was just when I'd just gone to Berlin. I'd only been there a couple of months and it was my birthday, my 27th birthday and I said to myself, you know what, I'm just going to go to a museum because no one was doing anything for me. Her indoors didn't want to do anything for me. So I thought, you know what, I'll just get on a, on a train and I'll go into Berlin and I'll go to the museum. I'm in the middle of the museum and she sends me a really nasty text saying, get home now. <laughs> and I was absolutely furious. She ruined my birthday. That's why I'm not with her. And I'm with you. <laughs> you know what they are? Number four. Baseballs. Baseballs. A lot bigger than I seem to think baseballs are nowadays, but they're baseballs. But all the air forces and stuff, they used to have their own, make their own teams. And Duxfield, or Duxford, wherever we are, Duxford, Duxford. <laughs> they had two teams here. And they were called the Stumble Bums and the Air Screws. That's pretty cool. Who do you think this is? Oh, I don't know. It's King Wil Wilhelm, or Kaiser Wilhelm. Okay. He, he was like the king of Germany in the 1800s. I found mm -hmm. loads of coins with him on. But this was a statue outside the Reichstag in Germany, which is like the, uh, what do they call it, the German Parliament building. Mm -hmm. And it got heavily bombed, and this is part of the bombing. And for some reason, we've ended up getting it here in England. But what a memento. Yeah of uh, the bombing in 1945. That's fascinating. 
there's a diffused 500 pound bomb now that's the size of bomb um, the, the found in the German forest when they chased me out I don't know if you ever saw that video um, they were chasing me out of the forest because I thought I was getting into trouble for something turned out they were trying to just get us out of the forest because they'd found a 500 pound bomb now that's a beautiful piece a banjo from 1942 which uh, the Air Force has got all his friends the guy who owned it has got all his friends and the sergeant signed it there everybody signed it, what a memento of the war beautiful banjo this is called the Link D2 Trainer and this is your first ever flight simulator in the world that is fantastic Got a section here of Whale Bridge from uh, Mulberry Harbour B, which they used for Normandy. You can see it in operation here. Here's the what was going on there, and here's you can see part. It's one of these parts of the bridge. Okay, we're heading into the last part of the museum now. We've been here. A long time quite a lot of hours I'll go into that later on but we have to do this last bit because it's land warfare that's yes. what interests me yeah. I like the landy stuff I know more about the landy stuff I don't know a lot about the landy stuff but I know more than I do about the aeroplane stuff so let's go in the land warfare there's your first tank you know what it is it's a Vickers Tiny little thing. Yeah, it's tiny. They've set this out really well. It looks so realistic. Wow. That's a German Goliath demonstration vehicle. It's tiny, honestly, that's the size of my finger. It's not very big at all. Certainly not a Goliath. They've even got a stream running through. This is just so realistic. The effort they've gone into these displays is fantastic. The only problem so far is it's all been anti-tank guns. You know, all little things on the floor. And I don't know anything about them apart from most of them are called howitzers, howitzers, howitzers. <laughs> Oh, now we're getting onto tanks, right? Oh, it's my favourite. The Soviet T-34. I love this. I saw one of these at an air show, at a military show, actually working. Love them. I don't know why I love them so much. I think it's just because they look big and hard. And they are. And there's a funny one for you. A German Tiger 1, but this is just a, a replica. But the last time I went to a tank museum, um, apparently there was one of these actually moving and it was the only moving one left in existence and I pretty much ignored it and it was driving past me in the background but there's a replica of one that's a real person I always like to see these, the amphibious trucks, the uh, ducks as they were known. You got a Churchill tank there. Now she works for the ambulance company. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed anything wrong with her? She's lost a finger. She's lost a finger, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want her looking after me. Maybe I would. Well, we found a camper van. 
It is actually a cam oh, well a caravan. The office caravan. En suite. Really? Oh yeah. Very nice. And this is the bedroom caravan. Yeah, we can't have anything this big. It's gonna to be too big for me to drive, is this? Oh this is en suite as well. A bath! Has it got a bath? Oh, indeed it has. Now, this is a really special little caravan. Because this was Mo uh, the map caravan. This was Montgomery's. This was actually Montgomery's. This is where he got all his uh, details sent to him during the war. And here is an actual picture of him um, with King George VI inside there looking at the maps. That is interesting. What is it? Uh, it's a gun, it's a Thompson. Submachine gun, a Thompson. Heavy. British rifle, that's what we all had. Is that heavy? Not And a Mills hand grenade. I know all about my hand grenades. You must recognise that. No, no idea. A bedpan. A bedpan. Um, no, for warming the bed, like. Is for warming it? the bed. Yeah. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> it's a mine. If you stand on it, you die. <laughs> it is not a bedpan. Okay, I'll give you another go. What's that? Yes. A mine again. It is a mine, yeah. Is it? Yeah, well done. I actually thought it was for cooking. <laughs> you actually thought what? No. It was I for cooking. You, I thought you turned the phone off. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> I, I thought it was for cooking. <laughs> yeah, it's not for cooking. It's a mine. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. A German uh, Jagd Panzer tank destroyer, I think that's called. What's this over here? That one. That one there. What do you think that is? Willie's Jeep. Willie's Jeep it is. <laughs> it's US Willie's M38 Jeep. There you have a Comet. There's just so much to see. Right, this really interests me because they've done like a reenactment of the Burmese jungle, 1942. And you know why this interests me? Because my granddad fought in Burma. I think it was Burma. Yeah, it was Burma. He was a tank driver apparently. But he'll have had to go through all this hell. This is a Burmese village. This is what it would have been like. That could be my granddad for all I know. I'm sure it was Burma. I'm going to have to double check that. I'm sure it was Burma. Yeah, it was Burma. My granddad was in Burma. I needed to see a map just to make sure because I always thought it was near India. But yeah, Burma is near India. Right, Mazzy, come over here. Got a question for you. Right. What do you think that is? Dangerous. Right. <laughs> a mine. A mine, correct. <laughs> correct. Okay, what about number 20? What do you think that is? Um, a mine. No, no. That might be blowing stuff up. No, like pumping stuff A up. pump? Yeah. No. I'll like... tell you what it is in a minute. Right. What about number 22? Maybe. Oh, is it a tape measure, you know? Because. No, I don't know. A tape measure. Have I had a tape measure that looks like that? Okay, okay. Yeah. And what about this big one? Oh, I don't know what that is. No. Mm. Okay, well, number 20 is a mine. Right. <laughs> that big one is a mine. Right. And that one is a mine. Right, okay. But the funny thing is, you said something about it being a tape measure. Yeah. <laughs> if you look on here, number 22. Yeah. Uh, 
a tape oh, measure my mine. God. Oh my god, I got it right. You got it right yes. by accident. You got the tape measure bit right. I got it right. So we're on to Hiroshima now, guys. There you've got the big atomic bomb going off. And this is four glass bowls which have fused together because of the intense heat of the atomic explosion at Hiroshima. 6th of August, 1945. I don't think I've ever seen one of them, a Soviet T-55. I didn't know they did a T-55. Again, it's huge. Possibly even bigger than the uh, T-34 is that, it's huge. Maybe not, not as high. And I can't go without showing the Challenger. Tank we used in Iraq. Okay, that was the Imperial War Museum in Duxford. What did you think? Excellent. How many Absolutely. out of ten? Ten. Ten. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the best museums I've ever been in. It is absolutely brilliant. We went in there at quarter to eleven this morning. It is now about quarter to four. And we had to rush to see it all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could spend even longer than that there. <coughs> um, we were both a bit concerned about it being... What was it? Eighteen pound each. Yeah. Thought that were a lot of money, but it's not. No. Worth every penny, one. <laughs> yeah. So get yourself there. Yeah. Duxford, Duxford Imperial War Museum, a very very special place. Hope you enjoyed that. If you didn't, um, we'll try and find something else for you here in Cambridge. We'll see you next time on the yeah. Travel Troll. Say goodbye, Mazzy. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> see you later, Matt. Bye. See, see you later. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say bye bye, Mazzy. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Many thanks for watching, guys. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video. And be sure to check out my other channel, Deep Digger Dan, and my website, thetraveltroll.uk. You can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. But most importantly, please do donate to the charity which we're supporting in this county. All links to everything I've just mentioned are all in the description below. Please come back tomorrow as we continue our adventure to try and make the biggest video library of the sites of the UK. Goodbye. <laughs>